Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to show all text in an Excel cell. Excel is well suited for calculations and also for creating lists and databases. Unlike word processing applications in which the text is organized in the form of pages, uh, Excel stores data on the spreadsheet in cells. So when I have text in a cell, there will be many occasions, especially if there's a lot of text, in which it doesn't display entirely in the cell. Each cell has a default size, and in most cases, especially if you have a lot of text or uh, paragraphs, it may not show in its entirety. So here we'll see how to show all text in an Excel cell. In this example, I have a, a, just a row of data in which there's a headline and a uh, summary or the first paragraph of the article. As you can see, when I select the cell, uh, if I look in the formula bar, there's a lot more text than is displayed over here. And uh, the next cell that has, um, if I expand the formula bar, that's a lot more and none of this is displayed. So the first option is to wrap the text. So to do that, I select the cell and under the home menu, go to the wrap text option. So when I click that, you can see that the row height automatically increases to accommodate all the text. In other words, the text is being wrapped within the cell and the height of the text increases accordingly. So let's uh, undo this to see the next option. The next option, of course, uh, would be quite obvious, which is to increase the width of the column. In this case, uh, it looks like the text is not much. So I'll select the row uh, column divider and drag it to the right. If you can see above the width, uh, there's a small box displaying the width that increases as I move it to the right and then release. Uh, it's not big enough. Let me move a little more to the right. And I have uh, the text, uh, all the text is displayed. So both these methods work. Um, either one I can use uh, because the text in this is not much. It is too large for the default size of the cell but it is not all that uh, big. Now what happens in this case where I have a lot more? In this case, I can use a combination of, uh, of both uh, methods, which is to increase the column width and to wrap the text. So let's do both. I'll just make this a little smaller. Now this is the third option. The first is I'll increase the width of the column. Now, because I want to make the column visible without having to scroll to the right, I won't make it too big. I'll just drag this a little to the right. Now all the data is still not displayed. So having made the column wider, I will now click the word wrap option, the wrap text option, which will increase the row. So of course I could also manually just drag the, make the row uh, larger, but the nice part about using the wrap text button is that it automatically does it for you. And as you can see, it's very easy. When I was uh, increasing the column width, I have to, uh, Keep checking whether it is wide enough but in this case if I use the wrap text the row height is adjusted automatically so now I'm able to see all the text in both these cells so these are three ways in which to show all text in an Excel cell please read the appended article for further guidance